parallel combination of inductor circuit so that is a parallel combination of inductor circuit there are two inductors in parallel and let this is l1 and this is l2 and they are uh, emf e is applied across it so we get this and take that total current in this circuit is i so that is i so i is divided into it's i1 and i2 so from this we get this the total current i that is equal to i1 plus i2 so we put this okay now differentiating over it we get with respect to time differentiating it we get this okay take this as equation number one now this is the total effective flux through l1 that is effective flux through l1 that is equal to l1 i1 plus m i2 here l1 is the self inductance of first inductor and m is the mutual inductance okay similarly for l2 okay for the first one take is here phi1 and for our second that is phi2 that's equal to l2 i2 sorry l2 i2 plus m i1 similarly there l2 is the self inductance and m is the mutual inductance okay now from this we get the emf that is e1 across l1 that's equal to d phi1 dt minus so we put the value of phi1 that is l1 i1 plus m i2 here l1 and m is constant so that's equal to minus l1 ddt of i1 minus m ddt of i2 and we can see that e1 that is emf across l1 that is this and this e is same so we can write this as e and from this we get that l1 di1 dt plus m di2 dt that is equal to minus of e okay take this as equation number 2 and similarly for phi 2 we get the equation like this this is equal to l2 di2 dt plus m di1 dt that's equal to minus of e and this as equation number 3 okay now we have to solve this equation number 2 and 3 so for this we take the value of di2 dt from equation number 3 that is d i2 dt from equation number 3 is equal, equal to minus of e minus m d i1 dt by l2 now we have to put this value of d i2 dt in the equation number 2 so we put this value that is l1 d i1 dt plus m and the value of d i2 dt so after putting this we get minus e minus m d i1 dt by l2 that's equal to minus of e 
okay now multiply both side with l2 so we get l1 l2 di1 dt plus sorry minus there f m e minus m di1 m square di1 dt that's equal to minus l2 e or el2 and from this di1 dt that is equal to di1 dt that's equal to minus e l2 plus m e by l1 l2 minus m square thus we get the value of di1 dt that's now taking e common we get this thus we get the value of di1 dt and similarly using this value in equation number 2 that is equation number 2 there so this is equation number 2 we get the value d i2 dt like d i2 dt that is equal to e m minus l1 by l1 l2 minus m square okay thus we get d i1 d2 and d i2 d2 and now we have to put this value in the equation number one so that is equation number one there so using this value we get from equation number one that di dt that's equal to di1 dt plus di2 dt and put the value so it will be e m minus l2 by l1 l2 minus m square plus e m minus l1 by l1 l2 minus m square and then it's equal to e is common 2m minus l1 minus l2 by l1 l2 minus m square and from this if we take a negative sign common so it will be minus c l1 plus l2 minus 2m by l1 l2 minus m square okay now we take that the effective inductance of the circuit that is L effective so E will be minus L effective into di dt i is the total current and from this we get that di dt that's equal to minus of E into 1 by L effective now comparing this equation with this equation we take this there di dt this equation comparing with this we get the value of l effective there so that is will be l effective it is equal to l1 plus l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m or twice m okay thus we get the effective inductance of the circuit in this process for a parallel combination of inductors